today's video is going to be my January favourites and I'm so excited to film this video. I wanted to film this video as soon as I like started to buy all these products and realised that they were amazing stuff. I was like, I can't wait to film my January favourites because I just want to share all the amazing stuff. I have so much and I apologise in advance because I know that you're going to want to run out and buy these stuff. Just like I would if I was watching a January favourites. I always make a list of things I want to watch and I just watched Riona Cahill's video on her haul and I'm like, oh my god, everything she talked about, I'm like, I want to buy. So Rihanna, I hate you for that, but I'm going to have to make a wish list now. But I thought I would just share with you some of my favourite products of the month. It's mostly makeup and skincare. It's a lot of makeup and skincare, but these are amazing products that I think that you need to try and that I've been loving. I have most of them on my face right now and I will show you like up close while I'm talking about it what they look like and I just love them so much and I thought they deserved a big shout out in this January favourites. Let me know in a comment below what your favourite thing was this month or a couple of things. If I need to buy them or pick them up, do let me know because I love trying new stuff as you can probably tell by my Instagram. Some of you are probably wondering like what happened to my hair if you don't follow me on Instagram. I got hair extensions and they're like right the way down past my boobs. I have them straight for the first time since I got them done. I only washed them last night. I got them from Platinum Luxury Hair. I will leave a link to their website below. And I do have a discount code and you will get them for 299 euro, which is an amazing deal. So I'll leave all that information below. And I will talk about more about them in a blog post and in next week's weekly vlog. So getting straight into makeup because there is so much on my bed. First up is a product that I can't live without in general. I can't live without primers for my skin because it just makes my foundation stay all day long. And I usually go for the professional or the Smashbox photo finish and I love the Smashbox photo finish but I just found a dupe for it at the drugstore. This one's from Maybelline and it's the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser and oh my god this is Smashbox photo finish in a cheaper version. It's like 11 euro, 11.99 from Boots and it's amazing. It's exactly, like I kid you not, it is exactly the Smashbox photo finish primer. I don't know how they're getting away with it because it's so good and so cheap absolutely love this. I've been using it every single day for January and it is my new favourite primer and I love it so much. It matches my nails. Next favourite is from number seven and this is a little sample that my friend gave me that she got in like her little advent calendar that they were doing for Christmas. This is the Skin Illuminator Radiance Beauty Fluid. I absolutely love this. This is kind of like a golden tone version of strobe cream and I've just been using it every day to give my skin a really nice glow. I'm like a couple of months ago I hated dewy skin and glowing skin but like for the last I'd say three months I'm all about the glow and I just love this underneath my foundation and it just gives a really nice glow before I put anything on top of my skin and then some days I don't even want to wear foundation because my skin looks so good after I use all of this beforehand. For foundation I think I mentioned it in maybe a tutorial a while back but I've been using the Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation. I love this foundation so much. I used this years ago when I went to Australia first and then I just stopped using it because I found another one but I absolutely love this. I use this every day for my daytime foundation and it's smells so good, it gives really nice coverage, it lets my skin breathe, it feels light on my skin and I love it so much, it's really affordable. Bourjois generally have a 3 for 2 deal on in boots, I don't know, I think they did when I picked it up because I got some lipsticks as well, but it's a really nice foundation for daytime if you're looking for a new one, definitely go give it a test. I know I am so so late to the bandwagon on this product and I don't know how it took me so long because even when I filmed with the makeup chair she talked about this and I still didn't buy it because I was like I'm not going for my favourite concealer ever. The collection 2001 is my holy grail blah blah blah. Until I found the instant anti-age the eraser eye. That is a mouthful because they not just call it like concealer. I started using this at the start of January I'm going to say and I absolutely love it so much. It's so much more lightweight than the collection. If you're looking for a really full coverage under eye concealer try the collection one but this one is perfect for like a light finish underneath your eyes. Lately I don't want much under my eyes because I just find like I'm getting older and they're starting to crease a bit more but this one is perfect. It's the nicest colour. I use the shade light and it's just so nice underneath my eyes and it really brightens up my under eye area and because it has like this weird little ball fluffy thing applicator it blends it out as you apply it so it's a lot less work to kind of blend it into your skin and I really like that and it smells really nice as well. I love when products smell nice it just makes me want to like put it on my face. Again really late on the bandwagon these products have been hyped about to death in the blogging world but I 
just purchased some NARS products and you can probably already guess before I even open them what they are and I'm, I just love holding them. They just look so nice and expensive and yes NARS, I am finally a NARS person. I got Laguna, obviously everyone knows what Laguna looks like, it's a bronzer and I didn't think it was going to be as good as it is but I absolutely love this bronzer. It's not a really dark bronzer, you can build it up if you want but it's not one of those when you put it straight on your face you're like and you're left with like a big dirty mark. This is really... Ugh, something in my eye. This is a really blendable bronzer which I love about it and it's ginormous and it has a really big mirror as well so it's perfect for like throwing in your handbag. And then obviously I had to get orgasm. If I was getting Laguna I had to get orgasm and I was, I always thought like different products I tried I was like that's so like orgasm like that is the dupe for orgasm. I always thought that the hot mama from the balm was like this but it's not. They're so similar, but they're so different as well. I love orgasm for days when I want a really natural flush to my cheeks, and then Hot Mama is a bit more bam in your face blush. This is really buildable. It's not that pigmented when you first apply it, so it allows you to like get the coverage and get the intensity of the blush that you want, if that makes sense. But I really like it on my skin, and I've been pairing these together for the whole month of January. Next favorite is from Lorac Cosmetics, and it's the Pro Palette. And obviously I just seen the hype about it and I was like, oh my God, those colors are amazing. I have to try it. And I did. I will leave a link below where you can purchase it because I had to buy it on eBay. It wasn't shipping to Ireland from the United States. So I bought it on eBay. If I can find the seller, I'll leave that link below. And I just love it. I have been using the brown shades more than any of the other colors, but I'm going to do some tutorials. So let me know what color you want to see in a tutorial soon. But I love the matte shades so much. I have it on my eyes today and it just gives the nicest chocolate brown blended just moussey looking thing in your eyes. That is the weirdest way to describe it but it just is so nice. All of these colours blend so nicely in together and it just looks amazing and it's so nice. I just love it. I love this palette so much. Well done. Well done Lorac. The next four products are all for your eyeballs or your brows or your lashes. Three out of four are from Benefit and there is no reason for that. They are just amazing products. One is not even launched yet. I had the pleasure of attending the Benefit event and you probably saw that in a weekly vlog last week or you saw my blog post as well. If not, I will leave them linked below for you. The first one is my new, I said it in the video, I can say it now, I can hold my hands up and say this is my holy grail mascara. It's amazing. Like I can't get over how good this is. It's roller lash and you've probably seen pictures come up on Instagram and maybe on a few YouTubers pages they're starting to talk about this. This is a brand new mascara from Benefit. I have talked about it in a full review and demo video linked below so I'm not going to go into it too much but I absolutely love this mascara so much. Like so much. When it comes out I think it's the 28th of February. I'm sorry if I got the date wrong, Jenny, but I think it's the 28th of February, I'm gonna say, and when it comes out, you need to run to the shops and buy this, or try this, get them to apply it to your lashes. If you have small, straight lashes, this is the one for you. And I'm so happy Benefit have done this because it's amazing. This product looks so disgusting because I hate when they have like sellotape wrapped around it and never looks pretty. This is the Big Eyes Liner from Maybelline and I absolutely love that it has a white and a black cold pencil. I saw this on, I think one of the videos from Beauty Life Michelle. Anything she ever recommends, I'm like, yes. I know that she has good taste and I can go out and buy it. I picked this up and I love it so much. I haven't used the black as much as the white but I love the white for like my inner waterline and I have it on today and it's just really bright and it's a big chunky pencil so you're not working with it for ages to try and get it to go onto your waterline it just kind of applies straight away and I love that. I had my brows done this week which will be in next week's weekly vlog in Benefits Boutique in Clarendon Street and I am so impressed with them and Jenny gave me a little goodie bag and one of the things that was in it was Gimme Brow and I've heard so much about this so Sumi always talks about it saying it's so good and I was like oh my god I want to try that so it was in my goodie bag and I was so excited when I got home and realized but this is like a little not like a wax what is it called like a mascara a gel it's a brow gel and it has little fibers that like stick to your own lashes to kind of fill them out a bit more and when Elaine did my brows on Tuesday she was like you need to like lay off the tweezers start growing your brows out a bit more because they're a little bit sparse and she didn't kind of 
wax away where I needed to grow it out. So I'm trying to fill them out a bit more. I love the shape of them right now, but we just need to grow them a little bit. And I love the Gimme Brow. When I have filled them in with my Sleek Palette, I'm like, I just need something a little bit more to puff them up a little bit. And it has the cutest little wand and it's so easy to apply. I'll do a close up of it now. Tried a different one from a different brand and it kind of went all over my skin, the brown product did, and I just, just didn't like it. The brush was too big, and Benefit have done a tiny little brush, which is a perfect for your brows. It looks like the little Clinique like bottom lash mascara, and it's super cute, and I love that, so I definitely rate that one from Benefit. Last of the eye products is Highbrow Glow from Benefit. Again, I'm not sponsored, but I do love their stuff. When I had this applied to my, my eyes, obviously, the girl I think her name was Emma did it and I was like oh my god I love that that looks exactly like the Mary Luminizer she put it just underneath my brows on my brow bone and she put it down my nose and I think into my inner tear ducts and I was like oh my god that is like Mary Luminizer in a coal pencil form it's amazing I, so Jenny had that in my bag as well it's like she read my mind and I have been using this since Tuesday and I love it, it is exactly like the Mary Luminizer in a pencil form for like underneath your brows so it's easier to use this than going in with a little brush and trying to get Mary Lou everywhere and I love it so much. I am so sorry but I have six lip products that I need to talk about. Up first I'm going to talk about the I think it's a Jaclyn Hill one from Gerard Cosmetics. This little part keeps coming off so I wasn't really impressed with that but I was very impressed with the colour. It's 1995 and I love it on my skin tone. It's a nice kind of browny terracotta color but I love this color so much and I think it was like day three of wearing this lipstick and I was on my way to work and I remember like putting it in my back pocket and getting out of the car and going into work and then went to reapply it like an hour later and it was gone and I was like oh my god and I'd gone to McDonald's to get a coffee and I sat there on my computer for like 20 minutes and I went back up on my lunch break and I was like sorry did you find a gold lipstick anywhere and they looked at me like a gold lipstick weirdo and like I searched all through my handbag and I was devastated because I'd lost the lipstick and I was so sad because I wanted to show it in this video because I loved it straight away and then I lost it and then I was cleaning out my bag the other day and I found it so all the panic for nothing that was a long-winded story that you didn't need to know moral of the story is though I do love this one and I just think it's great <laughs> And I am not sponsored by NYX either, but I love their stuff. You will know on my Instagram, it's just flooded with NYX and their stuff is amazing, especially their lip products. I just, they do lip products right. So I never really heard of these products before or this type of product. They are the Jumbo Lip Pencils. One was sent to me during the week and I did a blog post on all them gorgeous pinky baby doll colors. If you want that, it's below as always but that one's Honey Nectar and then I went into Foodies Pharmacy on Harcourt Street the other day and I talked to a really nice blogger that worked there, her name is Along Came Polly, I'll leave her blog as well linked below. And I picked up another shade in Plush Red 712 and I absolutely love it. These products are amazing and I don't know if they're brand new to NYX or if people just haven't tried them, but they're jumbo lip liners. They're not lip pencils, they're not jumbo eyeliners, they're lip liners and they're amazing. It's like a lip liner, a lipstick and a lip gloss all in one and I love this for just throwing on and it just is so nice so pigmented so creamy and soft it doesn't dry out my lips I have it on top of the next product that I'm going to talk about in a second and it just gives me the most natural gorgeous pinky rosy lips I've ever had and I love them so much but I will be doing a full blog post on these soon because I just think that they deserve more just more limelight because they're amazing. The lipstick that I'm wearing today is in Audrey and it's one of the matte lipsticks and I just think that the packaging is so cute from NYX. It has a little love heart on it as well. I love this. It's a pinky. It's kind of a Barbie pink but not like a fuchsia Barbie pink. It's more of a baby Barbie pink <laughs> if you know what I mean and I love that as well paired with the lip the jumbo lip liner it's just amazing and i just thought you should know about them and then to finish off my makeup favorites is my last two lip products i swear these are the butter glosses which everyone is like crazy and mad to get i love these two shades they're brand new one is peaches and cream and that's so gorgeous paired with a coral lipstick from inglot that i have and then meringue as well is a gorgeous kind of it's like the whole family of the colors I just talked about like this is the glass talked about the lip liner talked about the lipstick this is the glass that goes on top and I love these so much I just even love looking at them in my lipstick collection they're just so cute 
on to skincare and I have a lot of skincare products as well. Some I've talked about before, I think maybe two I've talked about before and then the rest are all brand new stuff that I just started trying in January and I'm so happy with and I just was like, oh, I need to talk about these because they're so good and I think everyone should try them. First skincare product I'm going to talk about is a micellar water from Botanics and I know everyone raves about the Garnier one but I was in Boots, I think it was just after Christmas, maybe like Stevens's day or one of those days when I was in work and I just saw this when I was queuing up at the checkout, probably getting a bottle of water and I was like, hmm, I like the Garnier micellar water, this one's half the price, I'm going to try it and I'm glad I did because I absolutely love it. It's so nice and I just think the packaging caught me as well because I'm a sucker for packaging and I just think it looks really nice but it works really, really well at taking off all my makeup, eye makeup, skin makeup. It's okay at taking off waterproof mascara and eyeliner but it's not great but it just is amazing. It takes off the Benefit roller lash perfectly as you saw in my demo video but I love this one. If you're looking for a cheaper version of the micellar water from Garnier or if they don't have it because that's always out of stock then try the Botanics one. I just realized as I looked down I have three different types of cleansers. Well they're all different okay I swear. Next up is the Absolute Cleansing Oil from Kinvara and you all know you've heard me rave about Kinvara before. I absolutely love their Rose Hip Day Cream. It's amazing and when I placed my order for this I placed it for another thing and they sent me this to try as well and I love it. It's an oil and you rub it into your fingers and you massage it onto your face. A dry face full of makeup you just massage it in into your eyes. Just be careful of your eyeballs obviously. It breaks down the foundation, it breaks down the mascara, it breaks down the waterproof makeup, it breaks everything down and then once I started to like massage it into my skin I could get this smell of it reminded me of Vicks and then when I looked on it, it says it has eucalyptus in it. Obviously that's what's in Vicks and I loved that smell. So as you're like cleansing your face, it's like clearing out your airwaves as well. I love that Canvara use lots of natural ingredients in their products and I love this range so much. I'm going to do a blog post completely dedicated to Canvara and I'll tell you what's exactly in all the stuff and why you should try it. And I just read recently on their website that they're going into, I think it's nature's way the health food shops around Dublin as well so it's going to be really handy for people in Dublin to get but if not you can just order directly from their website that's what I did and I'll have a link for you below. <sighs> Last cleanser is well this is a face wash so it's not really a cleanser so I use this after I cleanse and it's from Neutrogena and I've used this I used it years ago and I just picked it up again because Sinead is always banging on about this I was like just get it again and I realized when I got it again that I just loved the smell so much and I was like why haven't I used that it's such a good product and it's nice to when you use the oil it's kind of hard to get off your skin so I like to like double or triple cleanse with this and it just gets rid of the last bit of makeup completely. I talked about this product before I'm just going to show it really quickly again because this is the nicest smelling body wash I've ever used in my life. It is the Soap and Glory Whipped Clean. It smells like pistachio pistachio almond and sweet vanilla scent. It's amazing. I cannot get over it and I've never smelled anything as good in my life. The next favourite is just launching today from Benefit on the 31st of January. So when you see this it will have launched yesterday. But this is Puff Off and I can't get over this product. Like I just look at this sometimes and I'm like you are the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's for your under eye bags. It's to depuff, obviously puff off and it's an iron applicator. You probably saw this on my Instagram, cutest thing ever. It is a little iron that goes directly into your eye and then irons out all your eye bags. Genius. This is a nickel free little applicator and it's so cold to touch. Like I could literally just place that on there and it soothes my skin and that area already. It's perfect for anybody that is working a lot. I know I use it every day morning and night because I don't sleep much because I work so much. <laughs> this is amazing for taking down the puffiness of your eyes and I also found that under my eyes they're always really dehydrated and since I started using this they feel so soft. They're like silk and I had other people try it and they were like oh my god my eyes feel so soft and you can put it on on top of your foundation as well if you want to give a little boost and it just feels like silk under there. And that's amazing. So go check that out. Get the girls to try it on you and benefit. Two more favourites to go. The next one is from Soap and Glory and it's off your face face wipes. And I don't ever condone the use of face wipes until I found these and until I'm really lazy and I don't want to do the whole cleanse tone moisturise thing. I just use a face wipe and I really like these ones. These ones 
I just got in a Soap and Glory set that Chris got me for Christmas and I was like, I'll just try them. I opened them and oh my God, they smell like mojitos. So that sold me straight away. And then I started to use them and they're really soft material. They're not like really coarse on your skin. They don't drag across your skin, which I like. And they leave your skin really fresh and kind of, kind of tingly. I like that sensation when anything kind of tingles, like when you put foot cream on or if you put stuff on your lips or that benefits stuff like not tingles, but kind of feels cooling. That's what I'm trying to say. It's cooling on my skin. I like when anything makes my skin feel cool. And then last for beauty products is from Kinvara again. I just have a, like, I just realized how good these products are. This is the Rose Hip Face Serum and Suzanne raves about this. Like she's done a blog post and said it's her desert island product. So I was like, that has to be good. I'm gonna take your word for that, Suzanne. I have a few different types of face serums and I find myself just going back to this the whole time because it smells so nice and it's really lightweight and dries really fast on my skin. And it gives me a nice little glow and it kind of just, just feels nice on my skin. So that's why I like it. And it's hydrating, it repairs, and it nourishes your skin. So it's perfect. I like to put two pumps on in the nighttime to really soak into my skin so my skin can just get all the niceness from it. And then in the morning before I do any of my foundation, I just put one pump underneath my moisturizer and I love that. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll leave my weekly vlog below that I just uploaded if you wanna check that out as well. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to let me know what your favorite products were of January and I'll see you all soon. Bye. I gotta run to work. <laughs> Until I found the inch and that you can probably are. And I know there's probably gonna be a lot of questions if you haven't followed me. There's probably gonna and I didn't think it was gonna be as good as it and I didn't think it was gonna be as good as it <laughs> Next favorite is a palette from Lorac Pro. It's the Lorac Pro from Lorac Cosmetics until I found the Maybelline Instant Age Okay, get the name right before you jump into it This is a really blendable bronzer I have just discovered two, well, two different shades, but this product, like this, whatever, what it's called. I never, what am I trying to say? <laughs> Let's start that again. First up is the Meisler War from Metanics. Metanics. First skin, this is a nickel free hyper, hyper. <laughs> To the night and we can shine forever